They remain two of the most recognizable faces from a conflict that claimed an estimated 100,000 lives. Both Radko Mladic and Radovan Karadzic are accused of being responsible for this, the worst atrocity committed in Europe since the Second World War. Srebrenica, mass graves, the bodies so scattered, the remains are still being discovered. Both men deny ordering, instigating or overseeing the murder of more than 8,000 Muslims. The former political leader of the Bosnian Serbs believes this ex-military commander can provide vital evidence in his defence. This is a copy of the document signed by Radovan Karadzic which contains the questions he plans to ask Radko Mladic in court. There are six of them altogether. They include, did you ever inform me that prisoners from Srebrenica would be, were being or had been executed? And did we have any agreement or understanding that the citizens of Sarajevo would be subjected to terror by shelling and sniping? Radovan Karadzic will be hoping the answers demonstrate that whatever happened on the ground in Bosnia in the early 1990s, the orders to commit the crimes did not come from him. The siege of Sarajevo lasted for more than three and a half years, starving the capital of food and power. Radko Mladic was the general in charge of these troops. His trial is being conducted simultaneously at the ICTY. All of the 161 suspects from all sides have now appeared before this tribunal. For supporters, it offers hope that even the most powerful leaders accused of committing the most disturbing crimes may eventually be held to account. Anna Holligan, BBC News.